All right, guys, and welcome back to the Saints VD channel for something content for my match review as Southampton fell to a yet another home defeat. This time, a 1 0 defeat against Newcastle United. I don't know, I'm not too sure how to feel about this one. It's going to be quick because there's not too much to say. But uh, a crazy refereeing performance that I just, I just can't contemplate how incompetent some of the referees in this country are. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm proud of the boys, though. I think we'll get into the, sort of the incidents, the, the incidents. Um, but I'm proud of how the boys reacted uh, to the red card. And let's start with that. Uh, first up, well, first half, we should have gone 1-0 down anyway if it wasn't for McCarthy. Really good. I mean, world-class double save from Almer on it, to be honest. I mean, the best of the best in terms of goalkeeping. That's the best save you can sort of see, those sort of reactionary saves where you get the follow-up as well, a bat, a bat it away. And then around the 20th minute mark, Luce Gineppo goes in for a tackle on Hayden, doesn't get the ball, he's given a yellow card, no one's protesting, but suddenly, there you are, he's, he's hearing it in his earpiece, uh, is it Craig Paulson today? No, I don't think, uh, Graham Scott, that's it, Graham Scott, he's got his earpiece, and they've told him that he should have a look at it, and you know what, in, fair, in fairness to him, he's gone and looked at the screen, which is something referees haven't done this season, so... Yeah, I have to. I, have, I can't be biased here. He's gone to the screen. Fair play. But I obviously I'm going to be biased, and yeah, it, it, you know the fact that Gineppo's studs are on uh, Hayden's ankle gives it gives the referee a decision to make. But no one's was protesting it. You know the red card. It doesn't help the game. Uh, yeah, I I was I was not best pleased. With that decision, um, having looked at it again, yeah, you know, like I say, it gives the referee a decision. Um, but there've been much worse challenges this season that haven't even been given a yellow card with VAR there, which is why I just can't, I can't agree with the whole system. You know, there, there's no consistency still. Um, so, so, say it's go down to ten men. I mean, if any of the, you know, it was a real shame for Jeffro. He was clearly distraught about it. Obviously, the he's had a tough few weeks. Um. And it seems like he'll have a three-game ban, which is not ideal. Um, but, I mean, you can argue that Saints responded well in that first half to an extent they did. I mean, Newcastle, I would have said two ch uh, two good chances. Gale missed two decent opportunities. Um, but Saints didn't really create anything. They, they were playing good football, I thought, but they weren't, they weren't getting forward. They weren't really testing Dubravka. And then later on in the first half, Bufal turns Maximan, he's on, and we think, oh, great. And the ball goes out of play. Um, I'm like, oh, that's a shame. VAR checking handball. And I'm just like, where where was the handball? No one no one called for a handball. No one in the stadium knows what's being checked right now. It takes five minutes. I mean, this time the ref didn't go to the screen. And then he gives a bloody penalty. And it's like, who? no, no one expected it. Newcastle fans would have been thinking, oh, yeah, let's have it. We're going to get a penalty or whatever. They would have just been like, what the hell's going on? Um, yeah, awful pen anyway. Uh, fair play to McCarthy for saving it, but that decision is the one I can't get behind the red card, yeah, to an extent. But with that penalty, Bufal's literally turned him running away. And okay, maybe, yeah, it does touch his arm, but again, we've seen so many of those in the league this season and they're just not given. It, it's not, it's not a foul. I mean, yeah, you can argue that if it was in Newcastle's half, maybe it would have been given if they'd seen it, but. I, I can't I can't understand. Maximan is not complaining. He accepts the fact that he's been turned by Bufal. And in the process of Bufal running away, just as he's leaving the box, it touches his arm. And he doesn't even use... I mean, he, the ball goes out of play anyway, just after. He doesn't really use it to his, to his advantage. And it's a penalty. I mean, he's not denying a clear goal-scoring opportunity. That is what penalties are given for. He's not denying a clear goal-scoring opportunity. And that's the problem I had with that decision. Um... But yeah, like I said, fair play to McCarthy. Easily man in the match today. One of his best performances in the Saints shirt, especially after last week's disappointment for him. Yeah, really, really good performance. Um, and then, you know what? That second half, I was proud. I was, I was proud to be a Saints fan. I was worried that Newcastle could have scored a couple and we didn't really show up. I was also worried that we can have a Vestergaard come on and play five at the back. It's just going to be dire. Um, but you know what? I, I was really proud because if you think about it, the same sort of scenario happened with the Leicester game where Burchin got sent off around that around that 20 minute mark and we gave up. And I know Leicester are a much better side than Newcastle, but 
you know, the players didn't drop their heads at all. They stuck together. Um, they rallied amongst each other in that change room at half time and came out with a decent enough defensive performance. Nothing going forward. Granted, they didn't look like scoring once um, today, but I, yeah, I, I was I was gutted for them when they conceded um, because I thought, you know what, the fans had gotten behind them. They put in a decent enough ship. I mean, let's be honest, Newcastle were toothless going forward in that second half. First half, they created good chances and probably should have been 2 or 3 nil up. But they, I thought, given the fact that they were playing against 10 men, they were pretty appalling. Um, but they do score and it's the only goal of the game. About 10, 15 minutes to go. Uh, and it's an individual error. Yes, again, imagine my shock leading to a goal. Uh, this time, Valerie back in the side for the first time in like four months in the league. Who And I've, I've got a bit of black cash on Twitter for this, but I thought it was all right today, to be fair. I mean, no one handles Max Mann's pace, but he didn't really do much wrong bar that mistake. Um, it, it looks like a sliver or Max Mann's just too much for him. Always putting pressure on him. And it's a tidy finish. That as sim simple as... Um, and then after that goal, we offered nothing. There was there was no intent to go and win the game, in my opinion, or there was no execution, good enough execution. And, you know, that's two defeats in a row now against sides that really we should be beating. And you know, some fans are saying that we've pulled ourselves back into the relegation trouble. I mean, we're on 34 points. I know why they're saying that, but we're also seven points clear of the relegation zone with nine games to go. So, of course, if we keep losing games, we'll get properly dragged into it and, who knows? Could go down, but I think we. I think it's just still one win. One more win, and we'll be fine. You know, beat Norwich next week. I, you know what? I think we'll. I think we'll go and beat Norwich. Uh, to be honest, uh, they they play nice, expansive football, which is perfect for us. To be honest, because we can't we can't help cope with these physical sides that play the long balls. I mean, that's that's Ast um not Aston Villa, West Ham, Burnley, and Newcastle who have done a double over us this season. They play in similar ways, and, and there's a clear pattern here needs to be addressed in the summer. Um, but you know what? I'm not angry. I'm I'm more angry at the refereeing than the uh, the players today. I thought you know what you can never you can never predict that sort of decision to be made with the red card, and I thought they reacted pretty well, handled it okay. You know, defensively looked good. Like I said, never never going to score a goal. I think the Bravka had to make one maybe two saves, and they were sort of half hearted all game, which. You know, Maybe you can blame Ralph, the fact that he also made only two substitutions very late as well. Um, but yeah, I think I think it was a tough situation that we got put into, to be honest. So let's not dwell on it. Obviously, a win next week will change everyone's mind. A loss, in fairness, yeah, I think that will start to worry people, given the fact that we don't play for a month. But um, I'm I'm not too gutted. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be a Saints fan, I think. But uh, yeah, that's reg regardless. Thank you very much for watching the video. I've gone on a bit of a ramble here. Um, if you have enjoyed it and agree with some of my points, leave it a like or let me know down below in the comment section if you agree, disagree. We can have a chat about it. I'm usually quite good in terms of replying to comments if they're obviously worth replying to. Uh, follow us on all of our socials if you haven't yet already. Subscribe if you're new with your notifications turned on and we'll see you in the week ahead of the Norwich game. Take it easy, guys.